Fight fans, this is Karate Combat, and I am Phoenix Carnevale alongside Boss Rutten, and our matchup today features two very experienced competitors, Rada Masaudi versus Luis Hoka. Now, taking a look at these competitors, they have really, really good backstories. Masaudi comes from Northern Africa, and he's taken gold twice in the 2016 World Championships. He's actually ranked number 17 in the World Karate Federation. Hoka is Brazilian, and he's a karate athlete, obviously, and he started practicing in 1996. Today, he's a black belt under Brazilian selection of the Olympic modality in category 75 keys. He's known as the Brazilian James Bond, which is a pretty cool name. <laughs> that should be his walkout music. <laughs> that would be it. Round one. Taking a look at round one, both fighters step to the center of the pit. They greet each other, and right off the bat, you can see that Mawashi Gari loading towards the midsection. Now look at the speed on it. Yeah, Masaudi has great kicks, especially his uh, Mawashi gears are here. He can throw them from every angle. All right, there the Mawashi Gari lands. Nice little strike there, over the top. Boss, what do you think of Masaudi's foot positioning and the way he's sort of inching forward or back? I like it, you know, because they just stay outside the distance. You know me about distance, it's all about that. And if you can control the distance, you control the fight. Spinning back kick by Hoka. Hoka okay, ducks okay. under. Has the body lock, takes him down. Effective takedown landed by Luis. Oh. Saudi lands that roundhouse kick, but Luis sort of smothers his attack, brings him down. Can't feel the tension here. Yeah, so both fighters are fighting for a karate combat contract, so a lot at stake. Here we go. Oh. Coming on top. What you're looking at with karate is definitely about speed, about how aggressively effective techniques with lots of speed and variation. <coughs> Roka being more, a little bit more effective thus far. Landing some yeah, like, very strong shots. Yeah, and his movement is good too. Like here, you know, he grabs and then right away he comes in. Forward, moves forward, great takedown. His back kick, I like his back kick also. It's not in an angle, you know, it's straight. So even when your opponent moves backwards, you're still gonna clip him. Sometimes you see him and they throw him in kind of an angle so they move backwards, well, they miss. Oh, it was almost like he was going to put a triangle choke on there. Yeah. <laughs> the legs all the way up. It's good to control the body. Pull him in. Saudi doing a better job here, but he's caught by Hoka, and he takes him down. Yeah, Hoka likes that takedown, and he's doing it really well. Great timing. He should start adding strikes, though. The boss, you believe he's missing an opportunity there? Yeah, if he's got him on the ground, why not? It's legal. Straight punches, just blitz him. You see, that one is always that, that, that sweep, you know, with the front, at the top of the shin, or at the bottom of the shin, but the big part of the shin, you can hurt your foot, I always go. Ten seconds. These guys, they condition their feet so well that they don't feel it anymore. It's like the, the judo guys, the judo petitioner does the same thing. Yeah, well, he's got that round. Oh, God. 
Yeah, it's a great, great timing. Uh, I would say that Hoka's timing is very, very good. He's doing a good job of reading Masai. Ten seconds. If you are looking at Breda right now, Boss, how do you Round think he two. should approach the second round? How do you think he's going to come out? Well, no more clinching, and he needs to move side to side. Move, uh, needs to have side to side movement. If he goes straight backwards, he still will be taken down. If he moves to the side, it's much harder to be taken down. And then you take that takedown away from your opponent, from Hoka. Maybe he's going to do something in his mind, you know, and uh, you can turn it. That's a nice roundhouse kick there. Miss Audi fighting in the southpaw yep. stance. Gotta watch out here. Normally oh, with has a body lock. Oh, oh. oh man. I think, I think he sprained his knee. <laughs> it looks like he might have sprained his knee there. The doctor's taking a look at him. <coughs> That's not good. Hey, hey, hey. It didn't lock up. He, he is able to bend it. And I think he decides to continue. Wow. Well, the way of the warrior, Bushido, here we see it. I'm not sure if he landed incorrectly when he went to take him down. Oof. I mean, it's not a bad idea by Raider to attack the hurt leg. Wow, and he's all he over him. Yep. Yep, hey. It is what it is. Those are the rules. You stick to them. I would do well, the same thing. It wasn't anything illegal, and he did decide to continue fighting. Yep. The Saudi trying to throw that straight punch. And they clinch. He uses the clinch for an effective takedown. And now he had it, you know, so that's a good thing. Now he had a takedown on the, on the Hoka. Yes, Masaudi now scoring. Oh, a big, big straight punch lands for Hoka. Yeah, but simultaneously, Hoka got also hit, I saw. Just the bigger shot. What's to the other one? To Masaudi. There we go. Clinch is stopped because of no strikes being thrown at the moment, so you can't rest or hang out in the clinch position. You have to be. Saudi attacking now. Yet it's weird because his leg seemed to be okay. He was kicking with the left leg, and then suddenly he felt pain again. And we're going to take some time here. Yeah, as you can see, I'm sort of a little bit back towards the center of the pit. And it's the worst because your opponent, you know that your opponent is going to aim for it now. You know, you're going to have to try to keep it away. It's going to be at the back of your head. It's going to mess up your whole game plan. <laughs> that was nice, grabbing the kick. But can he turn it into a takedown? He cannot. No, he went for a hip throw, but he just kind of stalled there. <laughs> Puts his injured leg to the front now, also. Hoka does. 10 seconds! Say that again, boss? He, yeah, his, the leg that is hurt, he puts it to the front now. His left leg. Yeah, I mean, you know, he wants his power roundhouse uh, you know, with his back leg. Yeah, but it's hard, you know, if he gets kicked there one more time. That could be trouble. Yeah, most of the time, those pains, the next day, it's the worst, right? And especially if they take a plane, oh, it blows up. Yeah, you're gonna know that you fought. Yeah, once your adrenaline settles down, you feel it. 10 seconds. That's those, uh, those crazy Japanese tournaments, you know, they start with like 164 people and they go all the way Round to two, three. and then one wins. You go over three days, you uh, fight, I don't know how many matches. Yeah, can you imagine you have yeah. injuries like that and you gotta keep on fighting? So tough, these guys. Here we go into our third and final round. Again, these competitors are fighting for the karate contract. Oh, yeah, Masoud is very fast with his kicks. I love it. Brings him down. 
Yeah, that was a very gentle takedown, huh? It just guide him to the ground. There you go. Lay down. Oof. Looking for that Mawashigari. As you can see, Hoka there limping a little bit, switching his stance, bringing his, his hurt leg behind him. Now shuffling. It looks like he's only looking to score takedowns here as he goes for that body lock. Yeah, really he's hobbling injured. on that leg. Yeah, he needs to. It's important, you know. This this way he can still win if he if he can successfully, of course, pull it off. Ooh, that was very close to the jaw. Saudi changing stances as well. And I like that. The same kick goes inside leg. Then it goes out. And again, they're respectful. They're listening to the referee. As soon as he tells them to disengage, they disengage. Yeah, he's hurt. I mean, he did get hit with a kick, but not enough for him to put his butt straight down to the mat. It's hard, you know, once your leg is hurt, you can't, the movement, you take the movement away. You can't move to the side, it's, everything becomes hard. Even to strike with power becomes hard. Right. Polka is now just sort of surviving and trying not to be hit with any of the Saudi's power shots, but he does land a reverse punch, a straight punch in that exchange. And again, Let's see, he can simply fall backwards. That was the good old takedown in the early days. Grab him from the back and then sit down. I think bending uh, Hoka's knee you know, might be the problem. Yeah. He's just basically body locking, coming on an inside to avoid any strikes from Masaid. Oh! Ten seconds. Ten seconds. He's going to turn it up. You would say it's for Saudi, right? Because he's not injured. He should go now. And the Saudi is, is, was waiting a little bit too much, and that ends the final round. Oof. It's a hard one to score. If you think about it. Yeah. I think Hawkeye scored the most with the takedowns, especially in the beginning, but with Saudi's kicks were you really crystal sort of fast. The, on the, the body winner of Hoka as well. by majority decision is Blue Reda Basaudi. Basaudi got it. Basaudi takes it. Saudi by decision. And he will walk away with the contract. It's a shame. I, I really think that Polka has some skills. He, he, he really showcased some of those skills in the earlier round when he did get hurt. Yep, it is what it is. And events like this cannot be put on if we don't have sponsors. And this event is sponsored by the Bitcoin Project, a non-profit organization that aims to educate people and raise awareness for Bitcoin to public events. So check it out. And you can learn more about our fighters and check out more fights at karate.com.